Dave in Poughkeepsie. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. I do not like being kept on hold for over an hour. I called around 8 o'clock. I kept on, you know, everyone. Oh, and he's gone. Um, that's nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, I well, don't like to bring on a caller that's just going to talk, complain about being on hold. I mean, yeah, that's your executive decision. I mean, absolutely. You don't have a right to be not, you know, to like get on the air in a certain amount of time on the show. Sure. Yeah, mostly folks uh, are... Well, frankly, uh, Dave calls in often, and if we recognize a name, uh, you know, you're going to wait, and it's gonna, for the people that, whose names we don't recognize, and that's how it goes. And I don't mean to be mean, but Nathan had to wait too. Uh, oh, actually, we've had multiple callers waiting. A couple of them waited an hour to get on because uh, we yeah. had a very important call right. with Rich Paul and others. Uh, I mean, you know, and I appreciate all of them doing that, and I appreciate them not coming out of the gate saying, "How dare you." Leave me on hold for so yeah, long. That's not interesting. Nope. Um, it's, it's, it's not good radio. Somebody complaining about being held on, on, on the radio. Free Talk Live, hold times do vary. Sometimes they're a couple of minutes. Sometimes they're an hour. And that's just how that is. And usually the hour hold times are for people that are you know more regular on the show. You're part of the show. That means you're part of the team and... When you're on the team, you take one for the team, <laughs> yeah. and you wait. <laughs> right. So anyway, I guess we will finally get into um, one of some one of the stories that we brought in. And Mark, you had a, an interesting one, I thought, about California. Yeah, I've I've almost forgotten that we had show prep. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> you know, the Sunday show is almost turning into like the Saturday show, where it's just basically wall to wall calls. We and might we get one story them. off in the first segment. But... You know why that? The, the, I think the reason that is, Stephanie. This is speculation on my part. Uh-huh. Is there's almost nothing live on a Sunday evening? Free Talk Live's not on very many more stations on Sunday than we are on a weekday. I don't think we are on any more stations on Sunday than we are on a weekday. Mm. Uh, but there's just nothing live. So you're, there are, let's see, in, on Sunday night, there's another show that's live, that it's a current events show that you can call in on, and it's Free Talk Live. And then one of our hours, we're the only thing live. So huh. that's it. We're the only game in town. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> no, I it, mean, it's good to be on the top. <laughs> in the nation. I'm, not ta- I'm talking about in the country. This is what centralization in radio has done, is, is that there's a few com- companies out there, and they've basically cut weekend talent. They don't exist. I, I mean, people complain that there's not a farm system in radio because there's not local talent, and there's some local talent. But there's, there's not even national talent on the weekend. Right. It's all uh, home improvements, uh, garden shows, uh, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I'm intrigued because I know back when radio first kind of came out, uh, this would be with, you know, the early 20th century when it really started taking its its height. Uh, people were terrified of radio. There, there were a lot of groups that thought, oh, radio is, you know, turn, making everybody mindless. Uh, in fact, it was a really like scary issue that especially Sunday radio in particular was far more terrifying because of, you know, Lord's Christianity, it's yeah. Lord's Day. Um, but then there were certain groups that said, no, you know, let's get this message out there all the time, even on Sundays. And uh, I think there is uh, something to be said for there being content seven days a week that has really brought to a lot of education and a lot of social change, mm. uh, positive well, social change. Well, you can't change. drink on Sundays because it's God's yeah, day. Yeah, blue so laws, Might right? as well be able to listen In to the radio. Places. <laughs> yeah. You know, here, for the program directors that happen to be listening, I have a little suggestion. Uh, like surely you've thought of this if your money is made during the week when people are listening to issues oriented talk take people taking phone calls live that kind of thing then why would you fall all over yourself to do gardening and home improvement and these other things look i know they bring the money in i know that the local hardware store will sponsor the home improvement show i get it but you know, people do want to hear issues-oriented talk. They certainly want to hear live radio. Uh, I mean, sports? Put it on your sports station. Don't put it in your talk station. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of stations, a lot of station groups have a sports channel and a talk channel and will put the sports on the talk channel. What kind of sense does that make? Yeah, or to say nothing of the fact that we're on the Internet. You know, uh, Free Talk Live airs live on the Internet all the time. I mean, that's worldwide. There's a, and, and for other shows not to recognize that, that there is a worldwide audience just hungry. 
for content, really at all times, anytime they want. It's not just podcast listeners. Lots of people. I mean, the TuneIn app is really popular. Uh, iHeartRadio is pretty popular, even though iHeartRadio is more of a U.S.-centric kind of thing, I think. Um, all these things are you know, are pretty popular. And for you to miss out on getting content out to those people, I mean, that's a, that's a business proposition well, that's dying. We certainly make that uh, a possibility that you know, we, we're able – you could listen to Free Talk Live pretty much any method you want to listen to us. But that's not – I don't think anything matches radio in accessibility. I agree. I push the button, uh, the on button. I turn the key in my car. Actually, my car doesn't have a key anymore. I push a button to turn my car on, and issues-oriented talk is playing out of the radio just like that. Absolutely. I think radio is the ultimate decentralized technology. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm.